So David, I've got my requirements, so I want you to now take me through the process of how do you find out what I need and how okay. we're going to do it. All right. So um, you've asked me to uh, create or see whether we can create a product for you, mainly from media streaming. We would refer to that as a media streaming device. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you just a couple of quick questions about specifics yeah. so that we can make sure that we get this right for the sign for you. Yeah. Um, so as you know, we, what we're going to try to ultimately create is an appliance that satisfies all your needs. Yeah. Um, and we'll try to build in our experience uh, of thermal design engineering and chassis design. And electronic Do you design and expect this to be subject to any vibration at all? Or is that no, I don't think it's going to have special okay, vibration. Right. But if we did go down with an SATA or a solid state, obviously you then get the benefit of a vibration resistant right. device. Okay. So, you, so you could tailor this then to if I was in a so in, a, in a, an area where there'd be a lot of knocking and, and a vehicle. A, yeah, a vehicle. Yeah, you could tailor it for to a that. Boat. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, so for now, vibration is not an issue, but you need small size. Yeah. So either a compact flash storage or possibly an MSATA. Mm. MSATA will certainly give you the performance and the reason. So we needed a reasonable CPU. So yeah. Atom, um, at this time, probably won't deliver that for you on its own. It might do next year, but just for now. Um, I'd probably recommend a Intel i3 processor. I don't think you need an i5 or an i7. Mm -hmm. um, so the i3 determines now that we need about 35 watts of power dissipation. Just in the back of my mind, I'm thinking yeah. fins. Okay, just 35 watts equals. Fins. So, so the processor affects the the, the heat and the yes. design. Yeah, yeah, the generation of the heat from the processor and the south bridge actually as well. Um, so we need to get rid of that heat into the case. Mm -hmm. um, mounting. Behind um, the screen on a desk? On, a, on right. a desk. On a desk, okay. okay. Right. But so again, if, if I decided that it was going to be sort of mounted in, I don't know, behind a TV, so is that something okay. you yeah. could have? Yeah, okay, so um, this one will just be, when we finally design it, will be a simple desk mounted device, yeah. or a desktop PC if you like, or a desktop box. Um, you can, if you wanted, you if you wanted to mount to a visa bracket or behind a screen or on a wall, we could then either put them through mount points, so effectively screws going all the way through the case, or if you wanted a larger bracket, maybe for a larger visa screen uh, or whatever, we could then actually the plate that goes on the back of the case, rather than just being a cover, is actually the bracket. Right. Yeah. So we engineer the solution by what you need. Yeah. Because yeah. that's one one of the key things is uh, the box has to be reliable. I don't want to be out going. Rebooting okay. the service in this thing, or, right. or so I need that okay. sort of trusted reliability. Right. Okay, so um, these products, as you know, will not have any fans in them, they'll be thermally designed to accommodate the cooling of those parts without fans. And they are technically sealed, they're not complete, they're not IP rated, not waterproof. I assume we don't want them to be waterproof. No, hopefully, I've no water. Okay. <laughs> um, so they won't be waterproof, but to all intents and purposes, they are sealed, so mm. no dust or debris is getting them. So if these yeah. were going, you know, if, it, if your environment was a workshop. Uh, or industrial application, um, there's no vents on the top of these cases, there's no holes anywhere except on the back where the PC connectivity yeah. is. So um, I think I've got enough uh, colour. Did you have a, a preference? Final? Black, uh, black silver? Maybe black, maybe. Black? Okay. okay, if I can just run through what we've roughly outlined mm -hmm. and then perhaps uh, I can move you on to meet our design team that will yeah. actually hopefully create this product for you. Uh, so you're looking for a small footprint chassis um, that's going on a desk. The environment is going to be office slash home, so we'll assume that that is between 0 and 30 degrees C. You're looking for a device with a reasonably powerful processor, so we've recommended an i3 Intel second generation core processor. Uh, and on your I.O. side, you're looking page HDMI, you don't need special audio, you don't need anything else special on the no. I.O., you don't need any special uh, PCI cards or anything else, or special audio, special video. Um, you're looking for a device with fairly small internal local storage, so we would recommend an MSATA drive for this. You don't want any special security in the BIOS or any BIOS ID strings. No ID string. But you could offer, um, if I was put maybe in a retail environment and, a, and it was getting reset, I could offer some logo. Yeah, what, what, what we often do in the BIOS is when you turn the machine on, it will display your logo when it's turning mm -hmm. on until it, jumps into, it drops into the operating system. Uh, but more importantly, people, uh, many people will actually ask for a, a manufacturer's ID string. So we actually burn into the BIOS, uh, what's known as a BIOS ID string, and then your software will check against that BIOS ID string before right. it executes. 
So if somebody tries to take your hard drive out, copy it, and run it on another box, right. it, yep. won't, it won't work. Mm. So you want it black, uh, yep. and on the front of the box you simply want a simple power switch and a simple power indicator. You don't want any hard drive activity or anything of no. that nature. Keep it clean. All right, Ian. Uh, well, I think that's all we need to know right for now. Right, right now, thanks very much indeed for, for your time, Will. I'd like to move off. I'll just hand that over to Philip now. Um, we'll just have a quick chat with Philip now, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll just call him in. Yeah. Okay, Philip. Um, we've got, as you know, Ian with us today, and I've run through what he's looking for. Um, I'd like to introduce you to him in a second. Um, but I'll hand over this design spec to you in a moment. So what he's looking for is a device with a small form factor, so if we can try to keep the device small on the desk, he hasn't asked for it to be a specialist requirement. Uh, he wants it finishing in black, and he doesn't want any special features on it, um, perhaps just a nice power switch on the front with a power indicator. We will need to do his software licensing for him as well. So if I introduce you to Ian in a moment, and just uh, give you a, this requirement, perhaps you can run through that with him a bit later on, um, and I'll probably see you a bit later in the day when we've to the device.